previous episode of Hit with His Various Exposition. Joining us tonight is Paran. How are you doing? I'm good. As good as you are. How are hey. you? <laughs> good, thank you. Good. Good? Um, Paran is a uh, handwriting analysis and she is also a certified hypnotist. Just like you. Just like us. Uh -huh. yeah, that's great. So tell us a little bit about um, the kind of services you offer. Well, um, I own the Self Center in Winchester, as you know. Okay. And there I offer everything from handwriting analysis, hypnosis, neuro, neuro linguistic programming. Um, I do energy work, but if someone said okay. to me, what do you do? It's all about energy, whether okay. it's energy of the mind, energy of the body, energy of the emotions, it's all energy. And I love it. But today, oh, wow. today, we're going to do something that I did how many years ago? Maybe two years ago, which um, is... It was, yeah, it was, could be a little bit more than that. A yeah. couple of years ago, you had me in your studio. Right. And we were going to do a hypnosis. But prior right. to that, I said to you, at McDonald's, by the way, <laughs> show me your handwriting. Right. And during the session, I did a little bit of handwriting. Right. And then I took it and we did a hypnosis session for your writer's block, right. if you remember. Right. Okay. Today, what I'd like to do is really give, give you the gift of more, more handwriting, okay. more analysis of how you think, right. how you feel, if there's any fear traits that may be blocking you, which not you, but <laughs> right. in case they were. Um, and then when we're done today, you're going to have me back. Yes. <laughs> and we will take that analysis, and perhaps we might just do a, a feel-good enhancement of right. what I see today, right. or maybe we'll make some make some shifts during a hypnosis session, something that, that may be part of you, but you're ready to leave it behind and shift out of it. But we'll see once we take a look at the handwriting today. So, that's great. are you so, ready? Yes. Okay. Yes, so what Bernie is going to do right now is he's going to give me a handwriting sample. Now, do you typically print or do you do cursive? Or do you print right? Uh, yeah, a little bit of a both, yes. Okay. So what he's going to do right now is to do some his script, as we'll call it, whether it's printing, cursive, print, write, he's going to do that for me. And as he does, um, I'm going to talk a little bit about handwriting to give you some information, as long as that doesn't um, interrupt you when you write. Okay. Can you no, be writing? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Give me about a half a page. A half a page. Oh, well, depending <laughs> on your size of your writing. If it's you have little, little writing, okay. little and then you're going to sign it like you'd sign a check. Okay. Now. Now, what he writes really doesn't matter. English? In English, please. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I need to read what he wrote, because I don't read it the way you would. Okay. I look at it like an artist does. I okay. look at the spacing. I look at the, um, the how big it is, how little it is. Are you going is. to be like looking the way... Uh, no, I don't really need to see this, but I'm, of course I'll look down. Okay. So what he's going to do right now without being awkward, just leave it on your lap. Leave it on the lap. He's going he's to leave it on his lap, and he's going to start to write to me. Okay. Versus sing. What, what kind of, uh, <laughs> what, um, what should I write? You can, you can talk about uh, what we just did before we got here. Again, okay. they're not going to know what you wrote. They're okay. not going to know. As he writes, without interrupting. The spelling count? Spelling does not count. <laughs> Grammar does not um, count. Again, I'm not looking at what you write. I'm looking at how. I'm looking at how it fits on the page. I'm looking at the loops and no loops. I'm looking at how light, how dark. We're seeing if he can multitask right now. Can he keep writing while I'm talking? Handwriting is used in uh, over 80% of major corporations in Europe. In the United States, it has quickly gained um, notoriety. He's writing, so I don't want to interrupt. There we go. There we go. You cannot tell race. You cannot tell gender. You cannot tell creed. So it's really a non-biased way of looking at someone's personality. Now, some people say, are you going to tell me what's bad? If Bernie showed me someone's writing, and then his, I could say, this is what's good about you, and this is what they think is not so good about you. In and of itself, your writing is just it is who you are. Just the way it is, it is what it is. But to find out whether he is being appreciated, or negated, or judged, or uh, critiqued, I have to look at someone else's writing. And I'll tell you from their point of view, 
what they think is good about him, and from their yeah. point of view, what they think they would like him to shift so or to change. Sign it? You're done. Sign it. Okay. Next sign, sign. Yes. Right. Look at you. Okay. Right. So I don't know if we can get this close up. Okay. Um, Let's do a little yeah, close up. I'll keep helping. Um, All right. Find the door, and I'm wanting to make sure I'm right where I'm supposed to be. <laughs> okay, so can I just show this? Yes, yes, uh, do that. This is the first time I ever used the overhead camera. So if you are in YouTube, we will have taken the picture by now. And yeah. Document and... Oh, there we go. There we go. And we might want to... There you go. Turn it. There you go. So what am I looking at? I'm looking at everything that is on that page, but I'm not looking at it in terms of the letters themselves. Or so what's been said. Right. Yeah. You can okay. Look at it. Okay. So let me talk a little bit about you. And as I do, I'll even tell a little bit about the strokes themselves. Right. Now, I would not have known this about you. And I've known him for quite a long right. time. But then maybe what I do know is I'm in it. He has a trait that's called core. Okay. okay, core. What does core mean? Though when I first met you, you're very personable and you have a way of, of just getting into people's space in a very unobtrusive way. Right. What's really interesting about you, if we go behind the scenes, you are a core grouper. What does that mean? Though you may be personable and sensitive and talk to a lot of people, right. have that, you know, that small, small talk conversation, right. it's a chosen few that you really open up to. What do I mean by that? You could have five people in this room right now. One or two of those people at the most will right. be your core. You'll be one of them. I am. <laughs> I know I am. Of course I am. Or I wouldn't be here right now. But what does core mean? It means you're comfortable with us, which right. I know we are. And that's unusual because I'm also a core grouper. Right. So good really. thing we're in each other. Oh, yeah. We're, we're like old type. We're in each other's core. Yes. What it means is you can go to a party and there can be lots of people there. And you can do your Bernie, hello, hello. Right. But there are chosen few that in the back of your mind, if they're there, you just feel more comfortable. Right. Okay. You do this whether you're with family. There'll always be a couple of people that you just, there's just that affinity with. Right. You just feel really good when they're there and when they're not, uh, all right. right. So we'll play, we'll play the Bernie that's the social side. Right. You know, the core people, right. when you have doubts, Right. When you have fears, okay. when you when you have concerns, okay. those are the people you'll most appreciate input from. Okay. You'll take it from everyone else, right. but those are the people. Now, so what does core mean? It also means that, boy, you work hard, you play hard. Right. So that if your play is your work, right. which all of us want to have, right. you're golden. Right. But in whatever you do, you're, you're, you, you put an intensity to it that a lot of other people don't. Right. Now, I'm going to talk about another trait, okay. which is probably the sweetheart in you. Oh. Seriously. And it can work for, again, think of a trait as being like a coin. There are right. two sides to it. There's a side that works for us right. and the side that works against us. Okay. When you're with certain people, they think, ah, you're on this side of the coin like them, you're wonderful. When you're with other people, they may not think you're so wonderful. Why? Right. Think about the core trait. Core trait there are those on the outside of core that might feel he doesn't treat me like he treats them. Okay. No judgment. It just is what it is. All right, another trait. You are a man who will go out of your way to do a good job oh. for others okay. as well as just in its own right. Now, what am I looking at? I'm looking at, I'm looking at the upper loops okay. of the D. Okay? okay? I want you to look and see how large it is. Okay. Well, Pearlie and they taught me how to make it that way. Right. Hmm. Yes. What does it mean? It means that whatever you can do to make things happen the way they need to, right. you will put your energy out there. Okay? Right. It means that you'll move mountains for people if you believe that you can. Right. Um, it means that when everyone else says it's not possible and you believe it is, you will put yourself on the line to do it. Why? Because it's very important for people to be happy. Right. You are a man who will go out of your way to please people. Right. Um, and and, I'll, and I'll, I'll reframe it to just make people feel good. Right. Okay? And how you do that, I don't, there are other things we have to look in the handwriting. Now, the downside of the trade, because again, there's an oh. upside. No, there's a downside. <laughs> Here we come. There's an upside <laughs> okay. and a downside. Yeah, right, right. The downside is, if I said, you kidding me? You could have done better. 
that is like a vitamin cocktail. First of all, your whole insides go right. But it's almost like it spurs you on right. to do more, to do better, to just push it over the top. Right. Why? Because you take that to heart. You take that seriously. Right. You, 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 um, you hear it, and you want to shift it, and you don't want to have to hear that again from anyone else. Now, can you relate to this trait that I'm talking about? It's called sensitivity. Now, okay. all human beings are sensitive. Right, that's true. We're all sensitive. Yeah. But when you have sensitivity to criticism, what it means is if I can get ahead of everything and do the best that I possibly can, that's, that's what I'm going for. Right. If you hear one ounce of feedback that says, someone else did it better, right. that just spurs you on. Okay. I'll okay. also say, no news is good news for someone like you, and you need right. to know that. Right. Because there are some people who just don't give feedback, and they don't say that you did a good job, right. because it's like, well, didn't he know? Right. And so sometimes not having that feedback, and you, you put a lot of energy out in doing what you do to right. do it well. Feedback is an important thing for you. When you get it, Bernie, you, you just, you're like the ever-ready battery, what is it, the ever-ready, uh, that battery that just goes and goes and goes oh, and goes yeah, and goes and goes and goes. Energizer, and go. energizer okay. that's it, energizer, right. okay? Now, this is interesting because I don't remember seeing this in your writing the last time I saw you, but it's been so oh, really? long ago. Well, I remember you had talked about... Was, yeah, you have a good memory. Well, no, I do, from, but uh, it was a different writing. Really? Now, do, do people's writing change over time? Sure it does. Right. Sure it does. Right. Um, but it's usually a trauma or something severe okay. or, or conscious shifts, like through hypnosis. Is it, is it a turn for the good? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I can't say that. Okay. Now, that's not right. <laughs> I cannot put a judgment on right. this. You have to judge. Okay. Do you remember when you were talking to me about the fact that you have wonderful ideas to write about, right. and this uh, poetry was easier because right. it had rhythm and rhyme and all of right. that? Well, when you can take the time to think about what you want to do, you're happier. Oh, wow. But if True. someone were to say, here's the deadline, that's the one thing that gets you out of the thinking stage right. and into action. Right. So when I... I talked about your handwriting several years ago on your show, right. and you said to me, sometimes I sit there and my hands are frozen right. <laughs> on the computer. Remember the word you said, right. frozen on the computer, and right. I don't know what to do. Well, this is one of the reasons, because you can think, and you can think, and you can think. And you can. Thinking is a lot of work. Right. Thinking is important to you before you go and initiate something. Right. However, if I said to you, deadline, this has to be done by midnight, right. I remember you said to me, you had passed in the paper. I hope this doesn't get you in trouble. You had passed. You had emailed. Oh, you emailed the paper, yes. to, though you were over the deadline. But you know what? Sometimes you need a fire under you. Right. Why? Because you have a very heavy um, energy style. Right. And what it says is you can be tooling along, tooling along, la la la, not a lot of effort. But as soon as the deadline hits, boom, right. right. you go into what's called uptime. Okay. You get the energy going. Right. And you plug out the last couple of hours oh. when you've been doing it for two weeks ahead of time. Your last couple of hours, that's when you're golden. Oh, wow. So rather than pushing yourself and that I've got to start earlier, I've got to you know, have right. it done way ahead of time, can I say something? Right. That won't work for someone like oh, you. Wow. You won't do so your best work. That. So forget about all those two <laughs> weeks before. As a matter of fact, forget about it. Wait until, the, Vegas. wait until the pressure's <laughs> on. Leave Come Vegas. Well, there's also, you know, you know what? I'll tell you the beauty of you. You're not going to put your mind to something that you don't feel ready for. That's true. You might perceive it as procrastination. Right. I wouldn't call it that. I would call it that you're a thinker. Right. Um, you're a doer when it comes time under pressure. Right. And so you spend that time gathering information, brainstorming with other people, brainstorming in your own head. And then, when the pressure's on, off like a shot you go. Right. Have you seen that with yourself? Yes, that's true. Okay. Yes. Any questions so far? Does that make sense? Or are you in a no, blur no, that, right that now? Sense. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. It makes sense? Yeah. So what makes sense is, I imagine. Yeah, yeah you're describing a lot of things that. But I imagine. Yeah. When you're willing, which you know you are, because like I know that you know it's, it's that like you, you are. It's like you came into my house. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm in your house. I'm in yeah, the. I'm on the. I'm in yeah. the top floor yeah, right yeah. now. But doesn't it make sense that you could give you with all the initiative you have? I mean, you're a man of initiative. Right. If there's something that needs to be done, and you have the where 
for all to do it, you'll do it. But you'll do it when you've had some time to think about it. Right. You'll do it when you feel ready. Right. When are you ready? When I say, guess what? You have two hours to go. Oh, wow. I mean, think about a minute ago. Here we were hanging out with each other at a nearby little restaurant. It's a restaurant. And, uh, really, and, and uh, I had my water, he had his yeah. coffee. <laughs> but we were just kind of shooting the breeze. Right. All of a sudden he tells me it's time to go. It's so, okay, right. we go. We even shoot the breeze some more here. <laughs> you're, you, when, right. the, when the pressure's on, then you're ready to go. Right. But you don't need to be doing hours ahead of time, okay. weeks ahead, because it's not going to be your best work. Right. Now, intuitively you knew tonight's going to go okay. Yes. And you know that, and it is, by the yes. way, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> you knew it, because right. you have a high intuition, and I think that drives you big time. I don't right. know if you, if you connect to it. Right. Here's what it does. And this is probably why you and I connected so well instantly right. the first day you met me. Right. He comes up behind me, right? right. <laughs> he throws his arms around me. I don't even know who he is. <laughs> and it was all at the okay. hypnotherapist right. yeah, 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 convention. Yeah, convention. And there was an instant rapport. Right. And the instant rapport was because on a intuitive level, you and I both being highly intuitive, right. we just knew we were safe, right. we were comfortable, right. we were legit, right. and we wouldn't worry about it the next day. Because <laughs> we knew we felt, right. we were in a space that we felt comfortable with. Now, how do I know this? Because the breaks in your writing, when you rewind this and you look at it again, uh, look at the breaks in his writing, the breaks between okay. letters, the breaks right. between syllables within one word. Right. What does that say? Should I, should I show this? Yeah, All you right. can if you want All to, right. and then we can kind of check the time so we know where, oh, no. where yeah, we need so to we be. we have about six minutes. Good. Right. I can't even say hello in six minutes. <laughs> can you? Yeah. Take a look, and if you turn it, if you look at just take one word itself, and you'll see there are some letters that are connected, and then there's a break between certain syllables. Or there's actual break in every single word. Like, look at the word. Now, I have to look at it the way you do. Um, yeah. There are some letters that are connected within one word, and there are other letters that just stand by themselves. That's called intuition, okay? okay. What intuition means is that in any given situation, you have the ability to pick up on the nuances of the situation. It's not what's being said, it's what's not being said. And your brain processes that on a subconscious level, okay? Right. You pick up on the facial expressions, the tone of voice, and the body language. Right. And you know instantly, is this person for real? Or is this person a phony? Right. Is this person safe or not safe? Right. And is, or is this, say, um, a project right. that I want to get myself involved in or not? You know it. Now, do right. you know that? Do you yes. trust it? Yes. You know what they say? They say the person who has high intuition, who can spin on a dime and just make decisions, right. those are the people who are going to make it through the Even shift. Yeah. Well, I, I think personally, an editorial, absolutely. That's great. Because well, when, I trust it more now that you tell me well, about it. Well, it's on 24-7, right. subconscious mind. Right. It's in the seat of the right brain. It's in the subconscious mind. It's a known fact that intuition is from that right side of the brain. Right. And it's, it's nonverbal. Right. It's not necessarily what's being said. Right. It's what's not being said. 93% right. of the message going on here right now right. is nonverbal. Okay. That being the case, would you not believe that the person who has high intuition would be able to be, pick up on the messages being conveyed much more effectively and efficiently as you? That's true. Because seven per all this for the next, you know, we've been talking for half an hour right. or less. Seven percent right. of the communication is based on my words That's and yours. Ninety-three percent is based on the nonverbal. That's that true. includes tone of voice. Yes. So if we shut off the sound, <laughs> <laughs> after you finish watching us, okay, Just watch, watch us again, again yes. and shut off the sound. Yes. And take a look at what you think is going on, how we're the, how, relating. How gorgeous we are. How gorgeous we are, <laughs> how we fit together, yes, how yeah. e look at the ease in which we're communicating. Fine. Look at the suits. distance. Yeah, we kind of fit together, and we didn't even think about what we were wearing. Yes, but intuitively, yeah. intuitively, we yes, knew we right. weren't yeah. gonna we weren't going to uh, offend the eye. So, um, yes. So I know this is not fair, right? But how how would you summarize? Um, how would I summarize? Uh, like, is would you call this a trait? Um, there are over 300 traits that I can see in your handwriting. Okay. When I do handwriting, I take them all and I go, right. 
So who's Bernie? And 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 this is who Bernie is. Bottom and, line. Yeah. So so tell us. A first tell us. Um, how would you summarize this into? You know, I know it's not fair, but like it uh, is fair. a trade or two. Okay. And could you give advice to other people who are just like me? Who have oh, this no trade? one's just like you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> or people who share this trade. People oh, who share the trade. trade. I, okay, what, which trade what, what, do you want me to talk about? Do you want me to talk about the core trade? Yeah, the core the, and the intuitive trade okay. for the people who own that trade. Okay. What the people, let's go to the intuition to trade. Yes. People who own the intuitive trade, here's the good news. You can all be intuitive. We are all intuitive. Do we trust the intuition is, is the question. Right. We need to trust intuition. It is a gift, okay? It is the gift from the subconscious mind that knows everything about you, everything that ever is, was, and will be. Right. It knows um, what's not being said. Right. It knows timing. It knows um, how to fill in the gaps. Right. When you just breathe and you relax right. and you let things flow. Right. If you happen to be a person who is very controlling, and that's not right or wrong, it's just we, all, we need different types of people, we need the loosey-goosies and we need the controlling, the intuitive trait will not be as easy to trust because if you can't touch it, feel it, smell it, taste it, as in a left brain person, it's not going to be comfortable. Right. My advice is test drive it. Right. See if it works. See if the little voice in your head uh, gives you the one up on right. someone else the next time around when, when you don't have time to make a decision. Right. Can you just relax, let the intuition flow, right. and run with it? Right. And 100% correct, except when you're tired or stressed. Intuition's 100% right on. Do you think so? Oh, I know so. Oh, yeah. So I, I, I just think go it. I know. Party hard. Well, party oh, hard because because. And then when you come back. <laughs> yeah, which don't and you already? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true, yes. <laughs> well, I'll tell you one, I'll give you one other piece. Okay, we have about one minute. Left. Okay. Yes. You're highly analytical. Okay. Not right, not wrong. You're, you're right. So there's a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a war going on inside your own head. Right. The intuition says, this is what I'm... The intuition goes, go for it, go for it. Right. Analytical goes, oh, really? Prove it to me. Okay. Tell me why this is okay for me to do that. Okay. And that's when the stall that's happens. Yes. Well, that's the way it is. So there's a battle between the right side and the left side of the brain. Right. Imagine knowing that you are analytical, and when right. you have the time to use it, use it. Right. But when you don't have the time, trust the intuition because it's spot on. Okay. And when you use them both in a way that is effective for you, that's right. called whole brain thinking. Okay. Should we move to whole brain? Yes. <laughs> or should we move to the party? <laughs> 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 Apparently there's a party going on. The party is going on. Well, we're having so a party here, but there's a party going on right, over so there. So we have about 20 seconds left. Quickly, okay. where can we find you? You can find me on, um, you can find me on Facebook. My handwriting analyzed with a Z. Uh, you can also find me at www.theselfcenter.com. I'm in Winchester, Massachusetts, but you know with the media the way it is. You can find me anywhere, and I can find you on Skype. I can find you on phone, and you can find me on the web. All right, thanks. This is Sympathist Bernie. Join us next week, CCTV, Channel 9, Cambridge. All right.